Oh, showing you that you've got to think outside the box when it comes to this technology and that our screen paint allows you to do more than just do projection screen setups. Um, you can do a lot more than that. Besides that, you know what I mean? Some people think, okay, screen paint can only be strictly be used with uh, doing projection screen setups and dedicated theater setups and all that good stuff. But I'm going to show you what some of the cool stuff you can do with this. Now, the techno screen was actually one of the funnest screens I had fun building. A few scraps of wood in the backyard, a window screen, and coat it with that black technology. Throw some speakers in it, and we're able to make a really cool techno screen. But I'm going to show you something pretty cool. So I had this bath mat that I had upstairs. I painted it, did a demonstration on how you can paint our stuff on about everything. And I got to thinking, I'm looking at the fireplace. I can't burn this thing like I used to because, uh, like I said, if you have respiratory issues, smoke and ash and all that stuff does not go well at all. But I do love the fireplace, and I would like to burn it this Christmas, but I can't. So, I thought it'd be interesting if I could project fire into my fireplace. So, on the back of that fireplace, there is a bath mat coated with 12 technology. And what that does is, having that black background in the back, I can pull up all the brick, the, inf the, um, the different, uh, like the brick that you have in the, in the fire burning, that will blend in better with the background. I'll show you the better way just telling you, to trying to explain it to just show it to you. Right, so, back here, you're probably wondering, what is that gray surface? That is gray screen paint. Just to show you that if someone says, oh, I can do the same thing with gray screen paint, I can pull off the same thing. No, you can't because the problem is that gray screens and white screens can't pull off contrast or black screen can pull off with no problem. Not only that, it can cloak into the surface. All right, so we're gonna pull this out of here because that looks pretty bad. And we're just gonna have our bath mat back there. Now back there is a bath mat, a bamboo bath mat, as you can see, if you can see it too well. It's a bamboo bath mat back there. And it's basically coated with our black technology. Now, of course, I got the fire ricocheting off the wood and basically in the back of the screen. All this blends in perfectly. Even the bricks, see how the brick stands out? It blends into the back of my fireplace. Just gives it a real special, cool effect. And this is what I was talking about that sometimes some companies use this black technology as a form of background settings for plays and so forth because this stuff can cloak into anything. is isn't something that's going to become noticeable if stage lights hit it or any kind of background effect hits the screen and kind of lighting. It's not going to show up. You're not going to see it on stage. It's going to be to cloak in with the surrounding area with no problem and you won't be able to see it. Where if you have a white or gray screen, it's going to show. The slightest bit of light hits that screen and boom, your screen's going to show. But as you can see that right there, I get out of the fire real quick. Go to the side. Right there. Well, I can't be too close to this. It's going to mess up my breathing a little bit. That's a bath mat right there. Bath mat. But you wouldn't see it. Wait, you can't see the bath mat. It blends right on in because it's black. Cloaks right in. Gives it a nice little special effect. Now, I'm not going to be using this big boy projector because it's too big. It's a piece of furniture in the middle. I'm going to go pick me up a nice little uh, Pico Sony projector, smaller than that one over there. Something I can set up, maybe a little short, ultra short. I think, I think they have these ultra short though ones, those small ones. I might pick up one of those and I might attach it inside the fireplace so I can have it shooting straight down. So it's how I'm going to attach it in. But it's going to be attached inside the fireplace. I'm going to get something that's battery powered. I've seen battery powered. I actually had two of them. I had two battery powered uh, projectors. You get a, a couple of Pico projectors and put them in. Just one. That's all I need in there to basically just set it off. And I can have my burning fireplace for, uh, for the winter time. Um, this house runs off um, radiator heat. It gets hot in here pretty quick. So I don't really need to burn the fireplace. I just like to have it on around Christmas time. And I can keep it on all night. Because I don't have to worry about it burning my house down. Or basically, you know, having somebody come in to sweep the chimney or none of that nonsense. Or paying money for firewood. So, on top of that, we'll mess with my breathing. So, that's even better right, <coughs> right there. So, I don't have to go through that. And I said sticking my head in that fireplace was not a good idea. But anyway, so, uh, pretty soon on the 4th of September, 
I have the black piece of, um, not black, I have a piece of uh, plexiglass coming in. We're going to coat that with that invisible black technology. And for those of you who may want to build a fireplace, if you don't have a fireplace and you want to build a fireplace, I can show you how to take that black plexiglass and put a projector behind it and you can project the whole fire scenery right there right through that glass you want to get any glare from the projector at all because that black technology is designed to knock out at least 98 percent lamp flare even coming from a projector of around 5,000 lumens easily so we're going to do a lot of stuff with that black plexiglass once i coat it we're going to do a lot of cool things with to show you what you can do with it Ooh, i love working with this stuff man i'm telling you i was showing my friend i'm sitting over here relaxing i was showing my friend she was like why because she didn't see the projector. Why is your fireplace on? Like, why are you burning your fireplace? It's too hot for that. And I pulled back and showed her the projector. That looks really cool. That's going to look nice come Christmas. A lot of cool things you can do with this technology, I'm telling you. Oh, those are the... I was showing them off today, the ceilings for the... Uh, how to lead light your ceiling. That was for, uh, um, uh, what a demonstration, blah, blah, blah. I can't think of the demonstration I was doing. Oh, um, Facebook, 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 I'm demonstration on that. That is freaking cool. I love that. I love that. So I'm going to get online and find me a nice little portable Pico projector. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it inside, uh, up inside the chimney, right up in there, because I can put a nice little bracket system up in there and just connect it where I can actually have it come straight down. And then I can put my Christmas decorations, whatever I want to put here. I might get, I might take this out and put in a nice plush bear skin rug. Not a real bear skin, but a fake one. Out here, something pretty cool. I want something pretty cool to go with that. But that looks pretty nice. And people are like, how come I'm not getting no heat from that? I want, no, it's funny. It's, it's sad because, I, you know, COVID, I can't have none of my friends come over. But I would love to see one of my friends try to stick a cigarette in there and try to light it. Oh, you want to light? Just stick it right in there. You realize something's funny because he walks in front of. Because keep in mind, no one be well, once I install the uh, projector up in there, right? No one won't be able to walk in front of it and cut it off. You know I mean, not like this. If I walk in front of this, I could cut it off easily. You know what I mean? But with the projector, little Pico projector being installed up there, and I can get one that's chargeable. Charge it up. It charges for about eight hours. Just stick it right up in there, and there you go. Unless I got it on the angle where it hits that screen, which shouldn't be a problem. A little cool idea what you can do with our technology. Some people just like to burn the fireplaces for the sake of burning it. Because it just gives off a nice little beautiful touch to the house. A warm, cozy touch to the house. But with this right here, you don't have to go in and keep poking the fire. And keep throwing fire in there. And you know, keep, not throwing fire, but keep throwing wood in there to keep it burning. Kind of a bit of a shame because they're going to cut down the tree in the back of my house and that thing is quite huge and that thing would supply firewood easily for a good four or five years. So, uh, won't be burning any of that, but it's still pretty cool. That's FedEx. I'm supposed to get some packages today. Yeah, I love it. Just had to show that to you. I thought you'd get a kick out of it. Get a little funny kick out of it. Oh, 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 I forgot real quick before I get out of here. Let's show you something. All right, so remember when I was talking about uh, how our technology produces a higher black level? And how I told you it's different shades of black. Black comes in multiple shades. All right, so uh, we're going to do a demonstration on this pretty soon. We're going to do some bright colors on here. We're going to do some contrast. We're going to do some uh, co um, 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 white color, you know, white levels and stuff like that. Just to show you, you know, how our technology pairs to other black screens and so forth. So we have a black material right here. And we have black house paint. Yes, glorious black house paint. Because I love it when somebody says, oh, your product's not real. It's just black house paint. Oh, we're going to do that demonstration. That's going to be fun. I was hoping to get out today. I want to do that demonstration. We're going to take that white projection screen outside. And um, because I fear this is going to happen. Get that white projection screen outside. So we can do that demonstration because I need to do that demonstration. I have customers that are 
want to be outside and they want to be able to use their um, see what their technology looks like compared to a white screen outside which we've done these already so many times before but they want to see what the 12 looks like on it and i want to get out here and get this demonstration done but every time i get up in the morning we get a nice beautiful bright sunny day and then it ends up to rain so i can't run the risk because i put my projectors out there they're going to be unprotected and they will get damaged so right now i think we might have we went about to get some. Hopefully we don't. Because I really would like to get this demonstration out of the way. Alright, I got a customer right now. Just text me. I got to go take care of that right now. Some business I got to take care of. But just showing you other things you can do with this technology besides painting screens. And as I said before, you know, when it comes to a light gray screen paint or any kind of light gray or white screen, they're horrible for doing um background because like i said any lighting in that environment especially if you're doing like a star field demonstration or a night sky or something like that we need the background to be dark any kind of light hits that even a camera flash that screen will actually come out of character very quick so with this you can cloak anything in there keep in mind when we develop that front and rear black technology for those who are doing those halloween special effects the technology is fantastic for that because you can cloak that into any background. They'll never see the screen and they won't even see the projector. All right. Hope you enjoyed the demonstration. I got to go and God bless. Think outside the box.